prices. Our moderator is uh, Dr. <laughs> Roy Mayer from the Todd Roy Telegraph. And uh, you may notice the index cards on your tables. If you have any questions for any of the candidates that are here, just write it on that card and we'll pass it up to, to Roy and then he will ask the questions once everyone finishes. They will each get four minutes to tell us who they are, why they're running, and what they hope to accomplish when they are, and if they are elected. So uh, we encourage questions and uh, just want to thank you all for being here and being interested in this process. It's extremely important, and I think the more that we see nationally, the more we realize that it, it goes all the way to the lowest office of precinct chair. So thank you all for being here. I'm speaking to Roy, and thank you for being our moderator. I'm not seeing him yet. Do we see him? Well, let's start with the county commission race then. So candidates for county commissioner will come on up. <coughs> and we'll start with the incumbent. I'm Terry Phillips, Precinct 3 County Commissioner. Precinct 3 covers the northern okay. covers the northern half of Smith County, the woods area, and everything north of Highway 64 and Chapel Hill, a big area downtown. I'm running again to uh, continue to do the things that I've done on the Commissioner's Court since I've been there, be a common sense conservative. Uh, making right votes, common sense decisions uh, for the taxpayer. We passed a, and completed the No Frills Jail Project like we promised to do, which no other court, previous court, had been able to do in, in, uh, before us. Uh, we turned around our insurance fund when we, when we come in and took office. We were a million dollars in the red. We are now $600,000 in the good. That was on our employee health insurance plan. So uh, we got that accomplished. Um, we've got several new facilities throughout the county that's all been paid for with no tax increase. It's in pay-as-you-go plan from the veterans office, the elections office, where people don't have to ride elevators upstairs to those and get to those locations. It's really nice saying the new JP offices, the constable's office, uh, new adult probation, of course, uh, the new sheriff's office. But uh, we, we've done those things. We've got, uh, I've assisted the school with the resource officers in Lindale and, and, and Winona when, uh, <clears throat> when they lost their contract and had, had no other way to protect their children in school. So I was able to help them to, to do that. I was uh, defeated. Uh, yep, two, two more minutes. Oh, okay, I'm sorry. Two more minutes. The uh, speeding camera plan that went along, I, I was against that, got that defeated. I've never voted for, matter of fact, I voted against the light rail plan. I have uh, voted against all the, the really stuff that's come up that's not been in our common uh, core duties of the commissioner's court. And I just want to move forward and continue with a common sense uh, plan and, uh, and work toward rebuilding our road. We have a new road plan. And uh, it's going to take a little money. I know my opponent here says that uh, he can do it without a tax increase. It's impossible to do without a tax increase, a bond election, uh, some kind of TRIAS, or some kind of creative finance, or a combination of both. I have uh, talked to an independent CPA that don't have a dog in the fight either way. He's looked at our budget line for line, just like I do. And he, he said, Commissioner, it, 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 and, and it's my connect. Some of y'all may know him. He said, Commissioner, it is impossible to do. And I'm not going to sit up here and tell somebody something just, just to get a vote that won't be the truth. So uh, thank you very much. I appreciate your support.